The civil war broke out here in northern Somalia. The government uh, round up innocent people, including my father, late father, Mohammed Eid, my brother Mustafa, my cousin Yusuf, other relatives and neighbors. The killings were on a massive scale. We want to prove what happened here. Uh, I believe more than 250,000 people, innocent civilians, has been killed by their own government. <laughs> I don't think we can even start to imagine the, the fear uh, that these individuals went through in their last um, days and certainly hours of being abducted and knowing they were going to be executed. Um, it, it is quite horrific. It is very important for you to understand that we're going to give you the tools, the, I mean the means, for you to be able to recover, in a way, these identities from people, to dignify the dead, and to give answers to the families. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do that through forensic sciences. So Many sciences that work pretty much together to try to find the facts be behind a crime. People have the right to know. If, if some people are as evil and as mean as killing other people, at the very least, letting them know what happened to them, the faith, I mean, is extremely important. The idea of this uh, project was to actually assist the government here, and they have a war crimes commission, to face the past by separating the living and the dead. Uh, the, the idea of the government is actually to try, to try to put their relatives or to hand over their relatives to her so they can be buried properly according to Muslim traditions, because it is not a Muslim tradition, and I know that for sure, to put people all in a hole. Most of the rounds that we're finding are 7.62, um, but we found one or two shell cases which are from a uh, from a 45. Uh, they're probably a handgun or, or possibly a submachine gun. Most probably a handgun. And bearing in mind the site is over 30 years old now, and the amount of munitions we're finding just lying on the surface, it gives you. A bit of an idea, sheer amount of rounds that were fired in this area. The spectrum of military forensics can really cover anything from s small arms ammunition uh, left lying around, fragments, shell cases, uh, even splat marks on walls, right through the spectrum of munitions right up to heavy artillery. If you do not confront your past you know, to get answers, it is very difficult to turn the page and say, OK, now welcome the future. You know? Otherwise, it's a permanent crime. It's a crime that just never stops because you don't know. You don't have a body. You don't know if the person is alive or dead. The coronal system divides the My mission in life is to preserve the history of this country and my people. A quarter of a million people who's being massacred by their government is not a joke. What we want to do is to match injuries in bone and in clothing because the fact that the injuries are matching 
both in bone and in clothing, it is a double corroboration of the fact that we're looking at is an injury. Yeah. Okay. We for do example, not want this. for death to just simply take place without uh, somebody remembering it. 